Today's video is on exponential notation. Uh, exponential notation is also known as a power. This would be an example of a power. 3 to the 4th power. Now you have to understand that when you have an exponent, you've got your exponential notation. You have your base and you have your exponent. And the whole thing is called a power. So you might write that out, big base, small exponent. And again, the entire thing is called the power. Exponential notation is used for writing factors that are the same. For example, when multiplying 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, since the same factor is being multiplied again over and over, you can be writing that with 2 as your base, that's the number that's repeated, and your power, or your exponent, representing the number of times that base is multiplied by itself. When asked to write the product out as a power, you would count how many times the base is repeated and write that as your exponent. If given a variable, it's still the same number. You just don't know the value of the number. So this variable x would be my base. And because it has been repeated five times, the exponent would be a five. When asking to find the value of the power, it is helpful to write it in the expanded form. So this, expo this power, five to the fourth power, could be written as five times five times five times five. Now, when you break it down to find the value, you could do five times five, which equals 25. Then multiply that by 5, which equals 125. And then multiply that by 5 to get the final value of 625. So 5 to the 4th power equals 625. Another way to do the same value, again, writing it in expanded form, is you can use the, the associative property, which says you can group the factors in any way you'd like. So 5 times 5, we all know, is 25. And 5 times 5 is 25 and then multiply those terms, 25 times 25, to get your answer. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 2 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5. When you add that up, you get the same answer of 625. Sorry, I ran out of room there. That is a 625 down there. The last thing you want to be aware of is when writing the exponential form, they're all known as perfect squares. So if you are kind of doing the reverse, almost like unsquaring a number, um, 1 times 1 equals 1. Uh, 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 is 9. All of these numbers are known as perfect squares because they're an answer to an exponent, or they're an answer to a power that has an uh, exponent of 2. So, for example, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, all of those were the numbers I highlighted. So, if I asked you if the number 80 was a perfect square, the answer would be no. Because 80, you'll see, is not one of these highlighted numbers. Now, again, they're highlighted because 9 times 9 equals 81. There's no number that can be multiplied by itself to equal 80. So, if I asked you if the number 144 is a perfect square, You'd say yes, because 144 could be solved by doing 12 times 12, or 12 to the 